Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use Amaze Owl to find potential products for selling on FBA uh, fulfilled by Amazon. Um, and this video is going to be geared towards uh, my wife Missy. So this is a quick way for you to, sh to look up different products when you have five or ten minutes. Uh, so we're going to load our Amaze Owl program and it's going to take me right to my potential products, the first page. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on hunt for products. Go ahead and click that. You're going to click amazon.com. Uh, that's because we're in the U.S. If you're somewhere else and you're watching this, then choose whichever fits you best or wherever you're going to sell your products. So we're going to be in the U.S. So there's three options. There's hunt by keyword, there's best sellers, and then there's product database. So if you have an idea, let's say you're just going about your day and you're like, oh man, that would be a great product. Write it down and then we'll put it in here, we'll hunt for it. So let's just say I'm looking for a new microphone. And I'm like, man, I could use the adapter for that microphone and that would be a good idea. So I'm gonna put microphone adapter. You hit enter, it doesn't matter. You can even do random if you just don't have an idea and you wanna just spend that five minutes today and just hit random and just search. So we'll click hunt. And so what's happened is you'll see all these little gray bars starting to pop up with the owl on them. So these are potential products that are not good. If they turn green, then they are good. Um, and if you're curious, you'll go, oh, I don't understand why. It'll tell you. So the parameters that I set, and I'll show you guys how to set them at the end of the video. Um, I've already set them for you, uh, Missy. Uh, the parameters don't fit. So I chose that we need a product that's $19 or more. And so it's too low of a cost. This is $5.88. The BSR, which stands for best seller rank, and you want that to be lower. That just means the products are selling. It's a lower rank, which is good, um, is 171. And that's actually good because I wanted it to be usually in most categories, 2,000 or 2,500 or less. Um, and I'll show you guys that too. So these are not potential good products. Now I'm probably not going to find anything in this category that's over $20. So I'm going to quickly change the category just to show you what it looks like when you do find one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say um, Mic Pro. I'm just going to do that for now. And so what's going to happen, it's going to pull up all these microphones. And a lot of these are going to pop in because they're going to probably not have a high selling rank. So you'll see here, this is your little Maze Owl window. You can grab it and put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it right next to me so we can see the potential products. You'll notice that it, it's still loading too. I wonder what it's thinking about here. But while it's doing that, I can scroll down and kind of get a different idea. So a lot of these products are actually too high in price. So you're gonna see they're way more. I'd set a limit of $85. Because I'm looking for products that people will buy without having to think about it. So let's go into, we'll just say um, doll clothes. So this is probably a good category to jump into. Boom. You see the green light hit right here? We found one. So it's loading a few more. And now that it's loaded all 37, 38, we need two more. I think it's getting caught up on two of them. We'll just skip that. But if I scroll down, I'll see there's green. It says high potential. If I go over here and click on it, it'll put it right at the top. So this is an item, I can click on the item and I can look at it and say, okay, they're selling a bunch of shoes, a bunch of clothes, awesome. So now I can say, okay, I, I might be able to compete with this. I could probably buy these products. The, the reviews are okay, which is good. The lower the reviews, the better. That means they're selling. So we're going to um, go back. So up here in the top left, you can see the go back button or it doesn't matter where you're at. I'm going to move this, the window up here a little bit because it cut off. Uh, so I'm going to save this product. I can save it here. I can save it on the back page. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to save this product because it fit within my range. And once it's done saving, it's saved. Perfect. So we're going to go back here. And then we're gonna to go to the next section. We're just gonna scroll down. This cuts all the time out. I don't have to look at this stuff and say, oh, a shoe, maybe, maybe not. It's already told me that it's not a good fit for the rest of it. So next page, we're gonna search. 26 items searching, they're loading. We've got a bunch of low potentials. If I want, if I'm bored while I'm waiting for it, I can kind of scroll down and look at different things and nothing. 
So this is the other way to search. So if you ever have ideas, write them down, pop them in there. I'm gonna return to dashboard up here on the top left. I found my product. And I'll show you later on what I do in the back end as far as researching the actual product. That'll be a different video. Um, the second way to hunt for products is to go to the product search, click amazon.com, and we just wanna hunt for best sellers. So we're gonna go in here for best sellers, and it's gonna load all the top 100 selling products in each category. So on the left here is the categories, and right here is just the general. So there's electronics, there's camera, there's video games, um, which will be, even though it shows a high potential, I can't sell a Mario game because I can't buy it from Nintendo for a low cost, right? I'm looking for products I can get from Amazon. Um, there's books. So all your categories are here. If you wanna go a little bit more in depth, which will usually be what you do, you're gonna see your subcategories. So for example, we're gonna to go to automotive. And in this automotive category, we've got a whole list. You see it's already searching for products and didn't find anything. This is the top 100. So if, the other way to find out if you're in that list is it'll only show you a search up to 100. Okay, we're gonna click the next page, 21 to 40. It has loaded and there is nothing potential in there. 41 to 60, it's this quick guys. Just scroll down, I don't even have to look at them. Okay, oh, there's one. So I saw it go yellow. And I click here and it pops up. Yep, that's the yellow one. So I have no idea what this is. Let's click on it. So four pack, activated bamboo, deodorizer, natural air purifying bags. That actually could be a potential product. The only reason I don't necessarily like it is because the odor deodorizer, what if it cuts open, a kid eats it, do I have a liability risk? I don't want anything that has a high liability. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I just want to chance it. So, I mean, they look really good. They look custom, they look great. Um, so that's a potential product. I'm gonna save that one, why not, right? We'll just save a bunch of them, we'll go through them later. Another trick, so this is really important, this is a really good one. So I'm assuming this look like somebody that's uh, doing what we're doing. They're trying to find good products to sell. And so they may have other potential products. So if you look at here where it says in stock, right here, it's gonna say sold by California Concepts. Let's click on that. Okay, so sure enough, these are private label sellers. That's what we're trying to do. They're selling, these are their top selling products right here. So they've done the research for us and they've already listed the products. So we know that this is a really high selling product for them. So maybe that's the product we research. But also we know that this California home goods thing um, that looks like reusable food storage bins. Those are a product that they're selling. Um, they're doing, it looks like a multi-purpose boot mat. Uh, they've got plates. And the reason I know they're reseller is because they're not selling one category. They're not only selling automotive stuff, not only selling baby stuff, toy stuff. Uh, they're going anywhere they can because they're trying to find products that have potential. So this one might interest me. Let's click on this. Two small wall planters for indoor plants. So let's see why it didn't come in. I can tell you right now, I'm looking at it, it's 1750. So that's one reason. Now I might decide that might be worth it to think about because it's so close to what I can. If I can get them cheap enough, I wanna have a profit margin of $8 or higher so that I can make a good income with it. Um, and that's exactly why, price point, um, the BSR ranking is really high, 5,200, so it's not a high selling product yet. Maybe they're just trying to promote it now, so I'm not gonna save that. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Uh, let's go back a couple pages here. And it's not like your regular internet browser, you can't hit the backspace or, the, or any keys and have it go back for you. Uh, so we're back in this category. Well, let's just say we've exhausted all our options, which we pretty much have. So we're going down, no new potentials. Another option is over here on the right, it says movers and shakers. That's potential good products. So let's click on those. Okay, these are guys, if you see the plus arrows, they're showing ups and downs. These guys have grown 4,485%. So they're probably a seller. So it's not in my category, it's $10, I'm not interested, but here's the idea. 
let's click on this because I think that they are a, um, uh, a reseller, just like we're doing. So I'm gonna click on their name. Okay, yep, we knew it, we called it. So these guys are selling tons of different products. They're in a really low price range, which kind of scares me that as far as potential, they're selling a bunch of different things in the low end. Um, so this one's 22. Looks like a master window switch control panel. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to have a, a high buy seller. Yep, 46932 It's because it's a specific category and there's not going to be a lot of people searching for it. So we could have potentially found a gold mine because this guy has already researched it for us. So he's just not the guy that we're looking for. Going back, let's go back here. Here's a potential. Now, here's exactly what I don't want. Um, you could take the risk, but so there's a lot of moving parts in here. We got this little dial, we've got a charger, we've got the plug, we've got a, um, a air, it looks like an air pump for a vehicle, um, tire inflator. So yeah, these things are pretty sturdy, so I'm not too worried about them, but there is a lot of things that could break on it and I don't want to have to deal with a lot of returns. So even though it fits my category, I have to decide if it's something that I really want to invest in. Okay. I personally at this point, probably not. I'm trying to look for something that's low maintenance. Um, so we're going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to show you the last one here. Uh, so we hunt for products, amazon.com. And this one is only the only time if you have are paying for the Amaze Owl. Uh, this is, you have to be part of the membership. We are not part of it. So we are just currently using the free versions, which is perfectly fine, a little bit more in, in, you know, thinking in our own, <laughs> but we're going to click product database. And what it's going to do is if I was upgraded, it's automatically going to tell me products that fit my category. It's done the research. It knows they're good products and I don't even have to go to Amazon. It's just like, here's a, a plethora of, of products for you. That's it. So that's all I wanted to go over for now. I'm hunting for products. If, uh, if you want to stop the video here, I'm not sure how long it was. Hopefully it was just short for you um, and you didn't fall asleep on me. It's like 12 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, those that want to stick around, I'm going to show you the category or the um, the uh, the settings, so to speak. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to my settings. So this is how I determined when you noticed uh, here. Let me go back. I'll show you. So when I was here, and you saw my, it was determining if it fit my cap, my settings. So what I'm gonna do to set those, I set specific parameters that I want it to be within this range, this weight, this size of package. So in order to do that, you click return to dashboard or you just go to your main homepage. Maze all by the way is completely free unless you use those other uh, add-ons. We're gonna go to settings and I'm sorry, I'm moving the mouse so much. Uh, so here you go. Filter brands that have their own logo out because you don't typically want to jump. You could go for the hopeful finding that needle in the haystack where there is a brand that's not trademarked and then you could find it and go with it. Sure. I'm not going to take my time because right now I'm just starting with one product, two product and growing from there. Um, so optimal price I want from $19. You could do $15 or $14.95. And then up to $85. The reason I don't want to necessarily go over $85, not that it's not a good market, is typically when you get into the 70, 80 plus dollars, people have to think about the purchase. We're looking for those things where they click buy now, one click buy, all that stuff. We just don't want them to think about the decision of, oh, well, I'm buying a $100 um, ping pong paddle. Should I look at other ones and make sure that this is the right purchase? Because it's $100. So that's what we're not looking for. We're not looking to compete that way. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to put mine back to, we're going to say $1898.95. Okay. And optimal reviews. So we want to be under 500. And here's some little pointers you can use. So we want them less than 500 reviews. Essentially for the top. Um, 10 categories or top 20 people that are selling, we really want the average review to be 50 or less. Um, but Amaze Owl does it differently than like if you're used to Jungle Scout, um, another program. 
uh, they don't they don't show you the list of sellers that are ranked. The uh, Maze Owl takes it and combines it for you, so you don't even have to think about it. So you want it to be zero to five hundred typically, and then you're going to dig in further. And that's you know on a different video I can do that, but you're going to dig in further. The item weight. So normally the recommended is one and a half pounds. I've chosen two because I'm just trying to find some more potential products. Uh, maximum maximum package size. So you can look at your post office and see what the cost for certain size boxes are. But I think the default or the recommend is 18, 14, and 8. And then the below categories. So um, the Amazon bestseller ranking. I want to go into a little bit more detail with that. Um, that's another video, but I'll tell you quickly just a brief. So when you put a product on Amazon, let's just say I'm a brand new seller. I put it up on Amazon and it's the first product of its kind it's going to have a really high ranking and that's that's bad because it's no sales that's what they're saying there's no sales it's a brand new product day one it's in the category that has 700,000 items listed in that category it's listed as item number 700,000 i sell one okay now it's item number 300,000 because there's a lot of products that don't sell the fact that i sold one has put me down in that rank I sell 20, I'm selling 10 a day. And now it's lowering that bestseller ranking saying, oh, this thing's selling. So it's in the top 70,000. Now it's in the top 30,000. Now it's in the top 10,000. Now it's in the top 8,000. And in order to make a pretty good profit, you wanna have at least 10 sales a day. So now you're gonna limit it to the top 1,000, 2,000. Each category is different. Um, I did not do anything with this. I just left it as a default. Uh, if you want to get more specific, you can say, you know, I want the top thousand products in automotive. Now it's not finding the top thousand products. It's you're doing the research for that, but it is finding in the, let's just say I'm in the top 100. It's finding the products that are below that 2000 selling range. Hope that makes sense. If not, feel free to message me and I can try to explain it more. So clothing, top 4,000 books, because there's so many of them, top 10,000. Uh, actually, that's 100,000. Computers is the top 1,000, although I'm not going to be getting into computers likely. Electronics, 1,000. I'm probably not going to be clicking on electronics because there's too much that can break, too much risk, too many returns, all that stuff. Um, jewelry. Top thousand kingdoms. So you choose what you think's fair. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Maybe I'll bump a couple of these to 2,500. But here's kind of a good graph to show you where you're at. And that's it. That's all you need to do. What I did. It's quick. It's simple. When you're done, make sure you click save down here. I don't think you can see it because my. Uh, let's see if I can move this. So there's a save button down here. So make sure you click save when you're done. And then there you go. So hope this helped. If you guys have questions, leave a comment. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe. If not, I don't know. I can't help you. All right, have a great one.